Denver hadn't beaten Miami in a regular season game since 1968, but their fans forecast a reversal of fortune. Come on, boys. I predict a lot of pain for the chill. Let's go, Broncos! The hits kept on coming, legal and otherwise. In perhaps the most physical game of the season, both teams applied defensive pressure throughout the night, as fierce tackles seemed to outnumber points scored. When the offenses did emerge, it was the Broncos' attack that broke through first. Without the huddle, Gracie going back to throw, dumps it out of the backfield, and wide open was Mike Anderson, the one to soul around him. Broncos that time completely bamboozled the Dolphin coverage. But each time, Miami stiffened, and Denver had to settle for a trio of Jason Elam field goals. Inside the red zone, the Dolphins fared much better thanks to Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams straight ahead to the five, to the two. Touchdown, Miami Dolphins, Ricky Williams. Oh, my God. Over and through the free safety. That is sheer power. Williams added a second score early in the fourth quarter to give Miami a 14-12 lead. And when the Broncos tried to rally, their troubles only got worse. Greasy out of a shotgun, third down at about three. Under a rush, his arm is hit, his arm is hit again, and it's intercepted. Patrick Sertain is going to go. Touchdown. Nothing but green grass in the end zone, and the Broncos and their fans have been staggered. Staggered, but still standing. Denver responded with a brilliant drive capped by Mike Anderson's touchdown catch. After holding Miami on its next possession, the Broncos once again turned to their kicker to answer a 55-yard prayer. Lepsa centers, placement down, Elam with the kick, it's on its way, it is good! And with 45 seconds left, the Broncos have reclaimed the lead, 22-21. Playing with a broken thumb, Miami's Jay Fiedler calmly moved his team in the waning moments. Looks to the left and throws, and it's tipped and caught off the deflection of a Denver defender. Finally, they were close enough for some Olindo Mare magic. Well, it's going to be a 53-yard attempt. He's going to do it. The kick by Olindo's got the distance, and it is good. Yeah! It's good. Yeah! has delivered like he needed to make a 50-foot putt, and he dreamed it. That is big stones, let me tell you. 